Hey guys, Pete here, Crunch Time Coaching, and uh, we're here with the Tennis Con event. I want to point out something really cool I just learned from Roy Emerson. I was watching a match, and Roy is coaching this team over here. He's coaching these two players. And the way the point went is this player got in a little bit of trouble. So they're at the baseline, and they threw up a weak, you know, kind of floaty thing right over here. Where either player could take it. I think this person ultimately ended up taking it. And but it was one of those things where the net player, his name's Rambo, they call him Rambo, he was he was up in here, but then he retreated and got to about here, and they hit at him, and he wasn't really ready for the ball. And Roy Emerson was back behind the fence somewhere around here, and after the point, he told Rambo, he's like, just just get side on and worry about your forehand side. He said, Don't worry about your backhand. So I thought that was good because then, you know, when you're retreating and you feel vulnerable, you're running back and you're thinking, am I going to be ready for a forehand? Am I going to be ready for a backhand? i got to be ready for both sides. And it makes it a lot harder to react for when you know you're about to get picked on. As, as he's retreating, he's thinking, okay, 90% chance they're going to they're gonna hit at me, but where are they going to hit, forehand or backhand? And that slows the reaction time down when you don't know when it's gonna, where, where it's going to go. When Roy said, your partner, their job is to come to the middle and take anything down the middle. So anything that would have been to your back end, don't worry about this. This whole gap here in this spot, this is your partner's responsibility. Just get more side on and get ready for a forehand and then try and lob the ball over these guys' heads. And I thought that was a great tip that I was able to just listen to. Uh, makes total sense. And uh, not sure if you guys have heard it before. And that came from the great... Roy Emerson, when I interviewed him, you'll see I said, you won 16 um, Grand Slams with doubles, right? And he goes, no, 18. <laughs> so I was wrong. But anyway, take a listen to what Roy had to say. We are here with the legendary Roy Emerson. 16 doubles Grand Slams, right? Uh, 18. 18. You left out two. Pitiful. That is pitiful. <laughs> anyway, there was a great point going on, and then... On this side, our, our side closest to us, there was a weak lob going up. There was a guy at the net, right, and he was retreating back. A weak and second shot. It wasn't a lob, but he was trying to. And he got it high, and so Rambo, who was on the uh, team, side, yeah. on the right-hand side, who was uh, vulnerable up being up at the net, should immediately just watch one side, preferably uh, to the forehand. Because to the outside. Of the, yeah, the outside, and let the one uh, go down the middle uh, to the returner, yeah. and that way they got a chance of picking up a high high shot down, uh, which is just not quite down the middle. But, uh, when there's a high return like that and they're going to the net player, he can't cover both sides. Uh, he should just go one way and, and let his partner, who's on the baseline, cover the shot down the middle. Yeah, so rather than having to worry about it, it's going to be a forehand or backhand. Immediately, like, yeah, cover the spot. cover the forehand. Yep. Exactly. That's a, that's a good tip, Roy. You're full of good tips. Well, yeah. I got, I played with Neil Fraser, and uh, he was a great doubles player. Oh. But we knew exactly where where to watch if either of us hit a high return. We always had that play going, and we won a lot of big points by doing that. Very cool. And we're all getting better because of your tips. That's right. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah.